Good morning you guys out on the river for another day of fishing gonna explore some new water that I've never been to on this river and I fish this river a lot so a lot of times it's really hard to find new places to hit the water but I've got a spot I found on some satellite imagery I'm gonna hike down there it's about a mile and a half down to it and uh, we're gonna see how it pans out if it's good water or not should be fun got to walk down quite a ways but uh, we're gonna give it a go see what happens should be fun let's get it going See where I'm going, it's right there. Gotta walk the rest of the way, I've been walking for a while. So, let's get down there. Okay, you guys, we made it down to the water, which it looks like it'll be cool water, but man, it was quite the hike to get down here. It was a little bit more than I kind of thought it was gonna be. So, I'm hopeful that we can find some fish now that we just spent, I don't know, two and a half hours getting here. Um, I'm hoping it's good, but man, that was a trek. So, I'm gonna jump into this first spot and then just kind of work our way upstream, kind of like we always do, and see what we can find in this new water. There's like a weird little, like, back eddy channel thing right here. So I'm gonna start right along this super weird edge. This is not the main spot that I wanted to fish, but I thought it was worth giving this kind of weird water here a try. There might not be that many fish in this spot, but I thought it was worth giving it a try before I moved to the sort of more prime water. Okay, we're gonna see if there's any Right in here, off this edge, just kind of some nice slow water here. There's a fish. Not a big fish, but at this point, you're just looking for positive reinforcement of it. Ah, gosh dang, I got all these things in my, all these burrs in my net that I didn't see. So I couldn't put them in the net because my net was all messed up and I hadn't even checked it. Let's see if we can find another one in here anywhere. That one was right in front of that log there. Let's try right in there. There's a fish. Let's get this one in the net this time. Yeah. Okay, that little guy ate the pheasant tail. So, they are it's not a big guy, but just a little guy. Par marks, pretty fish, but not very big. Whew, now my hands are cold. Okay, he ate the pheasant tail. So that's a good sign, basically. Little pheasant tail's working right now. You just gotta find a fish that will eat it. It's still pretty cold out, so. Okay, there's some nice deep water here. Slower with a lot of structure. So we'll see if we can find a fish in this water here. Yeesh. There's a fish. Oh, nice rainbow. Oh, it's jumping. I'm gonna get in the water right here. Thought it was a white fish at first because it wasn't jumping right away. Nice. Cool white tipped fins on this guy. It's not very big, but those fins right there sure are cool. Let them go. Cool. Maybe they're starting to wake up or 
Maybe I've cracked the code of what kind of water they're in right now. So we'll keep working up this edge and let's hope we can find some more. Hopefully that's just the start. Hopefully. There's a fish. Oh, a bigger fish. Oh, he's getting downstream of me. I don't like that. No, 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 no. I don't like this kind of pressure. Ah, not loving this at all. Okay, now he's way downstream of me. Steer it back this way. But into this soft water here. Oh, I got his head up now. But it's so far downstream of me and into the net. Whew! Out of here and released. Cool. Still has those cool fins. Better fish there. Okay, you guys, I was getting worried there for a bit that these fish were maybe just shut down today, but it seems like we were just fishing the wrong kind of water. So we've got slower water with a little bit more structure in it. It's deeper and they seem to be holding in that water. So now that we've kind of figured out what water they're in, we should be able to continue to catch fish. Uh, what's working right now is a pheasant tail and a waltz worm and they're really micro size, but it's getting the job done. So let's jump back in here and see if we can find a few more in this run. So it seems like there's some fish sitting at the back edge of this uh, deeper water here. So that's cool. There's a fish. Whew. Good fish. That fish was that fish was all the way up on the edge there. Got it. That fish, I don't know if you guys can see, but that fish was right on the edge there. Cool, cool. Car marked up. Rainbow. Step out just a little bit here. There's a fish. Oh, white fish. <laughs> I think it's a white fish. I thought I saw that little mouth up here. Into the net, he ate the pheasant tail. They tend to like small bright flies. Hey, fish are fun too. Shiny little fish, bites hard and there he goes. Okay, so feeling good about the fact that we've kind of figured out what kind of water these fish are in uh, right now at least and they are feeding so that's good there's another rainbow it's like a good one they keep getting below me I need to get them back up in front of me right away because it's going to be a recipe for disaster if I keep doing this that's a cool fish he ate the pheasant tail. Cool fish. Really big eyes on this fish, but pretty cool. And away he goes. There's a fish. White fish. Ooh, kind of a heavy white fish. Let's see if we can direct it back over here. Oh, the sun's starting to break through. Fog starting to lift, that makes me feel better. Come on, fish. Oh, that was the worst net job. Okay. There we go, we got it out of the, out of the unhooked. Here's that white fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. And away he goes. There's one. I think I found the mother load spot of whitefish. Let's see if we can keep, I think I just hooked a bunch of whitefish in there. Where's he at? There he is. He does not want that. At all. Cool. There's a fish. 
Oh, that's a cool little rain. That's a cool little trout. Wow, the spots on that guy. He is a little bit so cool looking. I almost wonder if it's a, it looks like a cutthroat possibly. But that fish is so pretty. Okay you guys, so I'm gonna head up, back up onto the, the trail and hike upstream and see if we can find some more water that is similar to the water that we were just fishing. It seems like these fish are just holding in that specific kind of water. So we're gonna do some hiking back upstream and find more of that water, see if we can find a few more fish before the day is over. Okay, you guys, so that was fun hitting some new water. To answer the question of whether or not fly fishing new water is worth it, I would say 100% of the time, yes. I know it can be a little bit of a risky move if you don't know if there's gonna be fish there and you're thinking, ah, I don't know if I wanna go there. I might not catch anything. I think it's always worth it. You know, today it started out where they weren't, they weren't really eating. We found, we got into some fish and found some fish and there's a spot that I had never been to and I decided I'd hike down there and see if it was worth it. And it's a cool spot. Now I know what's there and I don't have to wonder about it anymore. And if you have that fun uh, kind of exploration side of fly fishing that I think is, is super awesome. So I'd say, yeah, it's worth it. So as far as what the fish were eating, they were mostly eating a small pheasant tail nymph. Um, I caught some on a waltz worm too. And I think there was a couple other smaller nymphs that they ate, a couple pertagons, but it was mostly that small pheasant tail in a size 18 or 20 that the fish were really keyed in on. So yeah, overall, fun day. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next week, catch fish.